about a year and a half ago was in North Carolina visiting some friends and family and I dove into a swimming pool, hit my neck, imploded my C4, C5 cervical spine and immediately was paralyzed from the chest down. I've been swimming competitively since I was five years old. Let's go ahead and drop her down the rest of the way. Probably was a fish in a previous lifetime. I'm also uh, was a triathlete for many years, did six triathlons where I was a long distance swimmer, so in the ocean and, and the pool. Very, very comfortable in the water. The whole thing about you guys controlling everything for me and our communication, that just adds on a whole level. Got certified diving actually in Australia on a random day. I walked into a dive office wanting a, an activity when I was on my study abroad trip in Sydney, Australia, and I dove the Great Barrier Reef for the very first time. And I was about, I don't know, 19 or 20 years old and hooked immediately, loved it. It was just an underwater Disneyland for me and knew at that point that I wanted to, you know, dive for the rest of my life. One of us will be in front of you so that we can be communicating. The other one will be controlling from the back. So we'll essentially both be controlling you. Okay. Today was a challenge. Um, first of all, getting into the water, which is where I was injured. I'm going underneath the surface of the water and breathing underwater. You never really know um, how you're going to react in such circumstances. Are you gonna stay calm? Can you clear your ears? In my situation, because I have no mo mobility or sensation below my chest, I'm completely 100% dependent upon my dive buddies. I'm gonna be asking you, are you okay? Right. Are you okay? So a big thing was, who are my dive buddies? Let's go in this, let's go ears, regulators, and breathing is obviously. Okay. So meeting them, it wasn't like getting in the water with my best friend, it was getting into the water with a stranger. And so immediately having that trust underneath the water. And I think you're right, I think just for you guys to communicate with each other and for me to communicate with you. Eye to eye, them doing all of the activities for me. So, you know, uh, clearing my ears for me, making sure that I, you know, don't have water in my mask. So today was a lot about uh, training and um, going through some of the skills and also just seeing, can I do it? Very calm. Yeah. I was surprisingly very calm and it felt great. It's the first time I've been on the water since my injury. I mean like underwater. And uh, yeah, I was really, really calm. Okay. I think hem and hawed about it. I thought, well, there's no way I could ever dive again. I mean, God, how could I breathe underwater, not being able to use my arms or legs? All of these things we just talked about, communication and issues and things like that. It's also maybe just me overcoming a challenge and me getting back to some of the passions that I really was, you know, head over heels in love with diving before my injury. And so I want to get back to doing that. That's, that's part of who I am as a, as a diver. You, you never know what's going to happen. That. When you, until you go down, you know? Yeah, that's right. And I was remembering, and it, it's like it's like riding a bike. It's like it came right back to me, just <laughs> blowing air very slowly. Once I was underwater, uh, the, once I kind of watched the bubbles go up and was breathing as I was before I was injured, um, it was like an old hat. It felt really comfortable. I was sort of, you know, disappointed that I was seeing the fake turtle on the bottom of the pool because I, you know, was like, oh, I want to see the real thing, but I'm looking, very much looking forward now to going under the water and doing the real thing. My mantra has been anything is possible. And so I think if you look at what it felt like from an able bodied diver situation towards my situation, it actually felt very comfortable for me. It doesn't surprise me that I'm doing this because I'm always one to do things that are adventurous, but. Um, it felt very comfortable for me.